Coach, starting the second half there, your team got down two, and then you saw 11 straight from Oscar, 16 of 18 points of your team being scored by him. You've also talked about how he's been not fully 100%. How was it getting him back and seeing him just be what he was last well, there's year? There's two things that happened in the first half. He didn't demand the ball. Like, in other words, you're ducking in and you're open. You have to say something. We have a term we use. You can say, one more, one more. And if that guy hears it, he will throw it to you. He wasn't. The second thing in the first half, when he had shots, he was passing them. Like I said, quit passing the ball, score the ball. They can't guard you. Um, then I told the other guys, again, we got to throw him the ball. You guys are driving, and he's in the middle, wide open. Throw him the ball. Um, but, again, you know, that one is an NCAA tournament team. They're, you know, I, again, Harvard and Yale are going to be battling, but, and they're both really good teams, but that's a good team. Um, we guarded pretty good against them, and um, it's another hard game to play. You got to grind it, and, you know, we, when we figured out we could throw it inside, it gave us a gap and some space. But, and I liked how we finished the game off. You know, we did some different things. Uh, the execution of stuff, we only had how many turnovers? Nine turnovers. I mean, the execution of what we were doing was pretty good. We got to get a couple guys playing better. Um, but, you know, I thought uh, played Oscar way too many minutes, but Ugo got two or three balls ripped from him. And that's why I just, like, you're going to coach to win the game. What was the difference between the two parts of the first half? It seemed like offensively, it seemed like it really came out well offensively the first nine or ten minutes, and then I think went two for 15, missed ten in a row. What what changed? You miss shots. It, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like going 0 for 10. It doesn't look very good. But if you're looking around the country, everybody seems to be playing about the same way. A lot of dribble handoffs, a lot of pick and rolls, a lot of space. It's like we're playing. Um, but we have an advantage, and the kid's name is Oscar Shibwe. <laughs> so you got to throw it to him. you got to look at him. And if you're driving and he's open, don't shoot it, throw it to him. And the crazy thing is, if he can't shoot it, he'll throw it back to you, which he does. Um, but we, uh, you know, it was great seeing Severe make some layups. I ain't been missing layups. I've never, he's the best layup shooter in the country for two years. And this year he's missing left and right, like layups. You know, um, I thought, again, we need Jacob to elevate his game, be more physical, go after more balls. If you jump 40 inches, how about every once in a while jump 40 inches? Like, go for a ball, jump 40 inches. Go get it. Um, how about go block a ball? How about um, one dribble pull-ups, which he makes. Um, but what he did today, he had four assists, and they were all critical to get us a gap so that we could finish the game off. Um, but again, let's, let's give them credit. They've done this to just about every team they played. I was really worried about London, the travel, and then the guys not understanding this is a good team. You know, they, they see Yale and all of a sudden I'm like, look, and they were good, they had the big guys that played. They even had, I think their best player was out. Yes. I think Kaysen went two of three on threes today. He's floating around 50% for the season. Just what were expectations you had for his three-point shot going in and how much of a, a benefit has it been for him to be so good so early on? He does that. He defends. He rebounds. Um, locked into the like execution of stuff. He knows. He'll tell other players on the court. He's unusual for a freshman. Most of the freshmen, are, you worry about your own stuff. And whatever else is happening, happens. I'm just worried about me. Um, and one of the things I've told these guys, confidence isn't just let you play 30 minutes a game. Confidence is you get in the gym and you get better. Demonstrated performance going in the game and performing is how you build your confidence. Not me, not me saying 
you go in and all the stuff that we're working with you, that you're working on, you go in and do it. The biggest thing for this team is we want to be a defensive team that really locks you. And you guys, you, you asked about you missed a bunch. That's because they offensive rebounded or scored. But when we rebounded, we were able to go. But we couldn't. We told them at halftime. They're, again, let me say this. We out-rebounded them. We're the first team this year to out-rebound them by one. But we out-rebounded them. So um, that's one of their things that they do a great job of. Hey, Coach. Uh, your program paid Yale Athletics $90,000 to come down here and play this game. What's the benefit of paying a team like Yale to, to give your team some reps? And how do you feel when you went down by two? I, I played a bye game. And Billy Tubbs was coaching. And uh, I was at UMass. And I had to go down there two years in a row. And the first year, they won at the buzzer. And he says, you know what's great? You got to come back here again next year. That's what he shook my hand and said. The next year, we won at the buzzer in Oklahoma. And you know what I said? Where's the check? Who do I get it from? <laughs> so um, this is all part of what you do. You, you understand, again, this basketball program makes money for all the other sports. So if you go on the road, you might spend 150000 You play at home, and we pay them 90000 We make over a million. What would you do? You pay the 90 or go on the road and play? That's what it is. And I'm not even talking anything outside of what this thing does. So, but it's important. And, and I told you guys, you know, I, I don't take it lightly that, that, you know, we play in the champions, we play in the CBS. Well, they pay us a lot of money to play in those events. It's like we're playing at home versus going and playing three or four games and it costs this and you end up losing $3.5 million by playing those games. So that's, you know, part of it. But it's also you need some of these tough games to see where your team is. And this was a good game. Yes. John, I know the kids have finals and so forth coming up, but you do have some practice time. What, what do you want to focus on? They've got three days off because we've been traveling all over the world, and I can say that literally. They've got the rest of today off, they got Sunday off, and they got Monday off. They're preparing for finals. We'll practice in a two-hour slot every day, probably at 1 or 1.30 every day, so you get your work in and then go do finals. We leave on Thursday to go to um, after finals. We'll leave on Thursday to go to New York. We'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, come back here. I think we have another game, and then they go home for Christmas for four days. So we've been working right now. I hope you could see we're executing better. But we don't make every shot, and there's sometimes you look discombobulated. Well, part of it is you're playing a team, and they're maybe doing something defensively that you're not used to. And then you got to talk them through it. Got a really smart team. Um, got a got a skilled team. Yes. Does the half court offense concern you at any point to this point? And and what what's the key to getting the plan B and the plan C to work behind Oscar obviously being plan A? No, I think we're in the top fifteen in efficiency. And I'd, I'd like to be number one. I think we lead our league in three point shooting. Um, we motion and movement. But we are so fast, we are trying to get to where we're flying if it's not there and we're playing and we're working on it. We're getting better. But no, I mean, if I thought we were really struggling, yeah, we, I look at new things. Now, I'll be honest with you, we change. These guys will tell you if you ask them, how much does he come in and adjust stuff? How much does he change? They'll all say, oh, sheesh. If I don't like something, I throw it out. We try something new. So it's the whole season is that way. Um, but again, I, you know, making shots 
is part of it because it really makes your offense look really good when you make shots. And when you miss 10 in a row, what is wrong with this offense? Well, you got a good shot. You just happen to miss it. Yes. As of late, you've been wanting, you've been talking about getting Chris Livingston more involved. He did some good stuff today. Yes, he did. But what do you want to see out of him going forward, um, especially with just continue on this path he's on. He mixes it up. Um, the only reason I took him out, he left a, the best shooter in the court. He left him, and they made a three. And I said, I don't care about you missing shots. I don't care. But this game is too close to have you not realize you're not leaving that guy. And I said, you're fine, but we're trying to win the game. I told him after. At the end of the day, you, you got to coach to win the game, not I wonder how he feels and how he feels. And then they'll go. I mean, look, I, I did an interview about Shea Alexander. He didn't start the first 10 games. Shea Alexander took 12 shots a game here. He's in the top three in the NBA or top four in scoring. Took 12 shots a game here. Anthony Davis and Devin Booker are also in the top 10. And none of them were shooting 25 balls a game here. There's an efficiency to how they play and what they know and what they're doing. I mean, you know, it's uh, like I said to these guys, it's you're going to get minutes and you're going to get offensive opportunities. It's, you know, what are you going to do with them? How do you keep building your confidence? So we, we're just going to keep on this path. Chris, is he's the best. He's the best. Omami was sick yesterday, uh, didn't practice yesterday, uh, but came and um, – um, couldn't keep anything down, but he's better today. Um, and Ugana kind of got pushed around in that game. I was, I, was su I was surprised, to be honest with you, but he did. Yeah. Hey, John, in three of the first four games this season, CJ had 14 or more, and now four of the last five he's had three or fewer and didn't have any today. So what's it going to take to get him going again? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm – you know, you look at it, and one of the things I said at halftime is I want to put him and Antonio together because I kind of like those two playing together. But then Antonio broke down three straight times on defense, so I put C.J. in for him. You know, the game played out different than I wanted to, but um, I haven't lost any confidence in him. But, again, if someone's playing better, then they're going to play more. And when I put him in the second time, I said, look, kid, just shoot the ball. If you're free, let it go. So, um, you know, there, and then, again, this was one of those games with just a movement, you know, dribble handoff and, and that kind of stuff, which, again, they're a really good offensive team and they scored 59. And so one of the things we were trying to do is, all right, how are we going to do this defensively? And if guys were breaking down, we just said, all right, go with the guys that are guarding. Yeah. Um, the Yale bigs of like Malloy and Jarvis started out pretty strong and kept them in it for a while. What adjustments did you make to try to slow them down? Um, we left our feet too many times and they're, they're, they'll step through and they do good stuff and they'll, they'll spin away from you and all we kept talking about is stay on the floor. All those ball fakes, all that stuff, just body up and stay down. Um, but again, they still hurt us. I mean, there were plays that we had to switch and, you know, and I, I'm trying to tell the guys, most important thing is that we're playing five on five. It doesn't matter who's on who, it's that it's five on five, that we don't have two men and then we're in a rotation and then we're trying to scramble and then we're trying to talk late and now they're getting easy baskets. So whatever we're doing defensively, we're trying to make sure it's five on five. Thank you.